for a very productive day today. Everything shower in the nighttime with clean sheets. Ooh. Guys, it's just crazy. I'm officially back in my YouTube era. A lot of you guys ask where I get this from. Lauren got it actually, but it is from Amazon. I will link it down below. These tools are great if you have layers. You can give yourself a blowout with one of these. Ta-da! Cute little cleaning bit. This bathroom is atrocious. Let's clean. Once a week, usually on a Sunday, I have a therapy session. For me, it's crucial so I can reset my mind so I can start the week off right. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I manifested this. I use BetterHelp, and in fact, I've been using BetterHelp for more than two years now, genuinely with my own money. I literally used Lauren's podcast code to sign up, but use mine, please, please. I began my self-care journey a few years ago, starting with physical, which in turn tested my mental health. I was also experiencing a lot of life changes, moving into a new city, being miserable in it, family things, new relationship challenges, and on top of that, I also started a new mental health medication. I was incredibly overwhelmed. Though all of my friends are very big therapy advocates, the thought of me stepping into an office for a session just was not gonna happen. I hate to say this, but as confident, happy, and proud of my body as I am, tattooed and all, I fear that someone's gonna have a preconceived opinion on the way I look. I'm aware that I could look shocking to some people, Personally, I turned to BetterHelp because not only do they have the option to do video calls, but phone calls too. In fact, my therapist has never seen my face. Not only that, but I'm also able to take the session in my bed where I'm the most comfortable and able to be the most vulnerable. For me, I wanted therapy not because I just wanted someone to listen, because I have very good supportive friends in my life that just let me talk and yap. Love you, Lauren and Remy. I wanted a therapist for guidance. Like a mentor or a parenting type, it didn't occur to me that different therapists have different techniques, so I was able to try a few out to find out which worked for me. Which is fabulous because you can usually be assigned a therapist in 48 hours. Regardless, whatever style you're going for, BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. Just hop on their site. You can use my link, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with an experienced professional. You can also choose the messaging option, which is even more amazing if you're still hesitant on starting. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist that can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash miyasayoko or choose miyasayoko at checkout to enjoy a discount on your first month. Now let's get to cleaning.
scary right now. I need to clear it out so I can go grocery shopping for any other essentials that I need. My, oh my, what a sight. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Mia, you have so much food. Why do you need to go grocery shopping? I literally just don't know what to eat, so I feel the need to go grocery shopping. We literally have organs, chicken, more purple potatoes. This is very overwhelming. Let's clean it up. I think the best thing to do is to take everything out. Let's do that. And then we also have unorganized drawers. I need everything to be in eyesight. Just throw those back there. Aesthetically organized, but functionally organized. One of my biggest stressors is tasks that I have to do throughout the week, how to organize it, which ones are most priority, and it's all just very overwhelming. So one thing that I found so, so helpful is to write down a brain dump task list. You are just gonna let your brain go free. You're gonna write every little thing that you think you need to do, whether it's giving your dog a bath, walking your dog, paying your taxes, or cleaning your room, anything that's on your mind. We're gonna organize this and get our minds straight. I don't know if this is just a me thing or an ADHD thing, but this has been one of the most helpful things that I've done ever. I keep this list with me everywhere and I constantly add and add and add to it. But I think it's smart to start a fresh one at the beginning of the week. Once I'm done with the list, I star which ones are most important for the day or for the week. And from there, I create a new separate to-do list. This specific to-do list has changed my life. The format of it just scratches the most satisfying itch in my brain. It allows me to pay attention to my top priorities, enough room to write a million tasks that I wanna add on for the day as well. The column on the right, I think, is the most important because scheduling things with specific times is the only thing that gets me to do those things. And as a bonus, this little notes section on the bottom is very helpful for just random things that I need to remember as well. Seriously, this planner is life-changing. Every single page is the same, so you can use it at any time of the year. I will be linking it down below because it has changed my life. You know it's ready if you could just cut through with a butter knife, like super easy. So these will be incorporated in my weekly meal prep. Can can imo taberu? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Should I start vlogging? 
I feel like Alicia Marie right now because we're also at Starbucks. And this is also her vlog camera. Thank you, Alicia, for the camera. You know what's rude? My face ID not working when I have makeup on. Can I get a tall ice latte with non-fat milk? Ice latte with non-fat milk. This wide angle camera is insane five big sips. So I haven't had my period in seven months to a year, but I'm still going through some sort of hormonal cycle. There has to be, right? And yesterday I was so emotional. I was sobbing to a church song yesterday. Alicia vibes again. That song called Oceans, Spirits Lead Me. I even got a little bit religious. Oh, you can't wait. Uh, it's no worries. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, you too. Spirits Lead Me. So we just got to Costco. You guys saw the contents of my fridge and no, I don't need anything, but it is Sunday. And Sunday means grocery shop day. So we are here. We are posted up at the Costco. Yes, I live alone. No, I don't need to buy anything in bulk. It's more for the culture of Costco. Guys, look at this cute ass Doc Martens bag. Delicious. Gorgeous. Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. my favorite section of Costco. Except they never have any ground lean meat. 88%. It's not like amazing. Thank you. This amount of sauce should be illegal. It is pretty good though. Yup. I'm obsessed with these. Macros are quite excellent. They also have a chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate brownie flavor, but I've never had this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, baby. Go ahead and grab two if you want. we're going through all of what we did. Washing our sheets and not taking an everything shower. That is a sin. Personally, I need to wash my hair a little bit more often now that I'm doing more cardio. I like exfoliating my face with this little fabric pad. It helps get off all of the dead skin since I use tretinoin every day. Jail for the standard loofah. I'm sorry, but I love it. And I may or may not be doing a very intense gua sha session right now, but I just do it really hard because it feels good. Did you enjoy it? So that was my Sunday reset routine. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. More videos like this to come. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.